One of the biggest problems in my house is remotes. We have remotes for literally everything and they are always going missing. But there is an app that will not only allow you to use your phone as a remote control for Fire Stick or Android TV, but you can also download apps straight from the app to your streaming device. Let me show you. So welcome back, this is Lee TV and welcome to my channel. If you are new, consider subscribing if you like your tech gadgets and general review content. Now in this video, I am gonna show you the Cetus Play app. It is incredible. It allows you to use your mobile phone as a remote control for Android TV, for Fire Stick and some other devices, but there are some brilliant features in it that allow you to download some of your favorite apps straight to your device and do everything and i mean literally everything that you need to do from your phone now of course all the links for the app will be in the video description down below so be sure to check them out it does work on android and ios but if you stick around to the end i will show you how to do it because there are two steps that you need and yes this app is free now real quick before i get into the video if you want to get your hands on an android tv box it's a xiaomi me tv box to be exact i've got a giveaway happening on twitter right now there's four steps that you need to do you need to follow my Twitter you need to retweet a post you need to tag three friends and you need to subscribe to this channel so I'll stick my Twitter handle and the link to the post down below go on over to Twitter share it round and go and get yourself an Android TV box before Christmas on me anyway enough of the jibble jabble wibble 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 wobble enough of the dribble let's show you the app now, as I mentioned, there are two parts to this app, so stick around and I'll show you how to install it and get it working perfectly. So, as you can see, it's automatically picked up the Fire Stick, which is upstairs, and the Smart TV, which is this Android TV box in the background. So, I'm going to go on over and select the Smart TV, and it connects straight away. And the first options you're going to get at the bottom is Search to Cast, Play on TV, My Apps, and the Mouse option, which will bring up the keyboard. So, we all know the issues that you have if you haven't got a wireless keyboard or mouse connected to an APK trying to get on a film with the standard keyboard from an Android TV box is very difficult well not anymore not with this app so all we would do is select the mouse option and you will have this keyboard you've got a home button you've got volumes a power button menu and a back button quite similar to a fire stick although you've also got this big area that you can use for a trackpad so as I use the trackpad it will will start to move the mouse that's on the screen as you can see and to select something all I would do is simply go over it and tap the screen and it will open you've basically got full functionality and control over the Android TV box including the volumes as you can see all from this great app now on the keyboard section you also have this little cleaner at the bottom so if you tap it it will clear your cache as you can see on the device now in addition to the remote control you also have a play on TV section which is a brilliant casting option built inside the app now these developers also have another app around casting which is incredible and I'm gonna be reviewing that very soon so stay tuned for that but anyways on the play on TV section you've got access to all the files on your device you can see Simply go in and it will play straight away on the TV. So as that's playing, I still have full functionality of my phone. So I can basically go in and do what I want while that's playing on the screen. Now in terms of casting, if you go on over to my apps, you'll have a list of all the apps on your device that you can cast to the TV through this app. As you can see, you've got things like free flicks. So once you've downloaded them on your device, they will show inside the app and they're super easy to use. Now, if you don't have any streaming apps, it's not a problem. You can simply head on over to the app center. You can have a look at featured, trending or categories. And for instance, if I wanted to install Redbox TV or Modbro, straight from the app i can simply click on install and you can see it automatically downloads and installs it straight to the device you're using so you don't have to put in repos or urls or anything like that anymore you can do it all from this incredible app now what i'll do is install the app from the remote control just to show you how easy it is Perfect. So I've 
just use the remote to install it. Nice and easy, simple pimple. So as you can see, you no longer have to mess about with typing URLs or using the on-screen keyboard. You can do it all from here. Whilst mentioning the keyboard, rather than going through the keyboard on Kodi with your remote anymore, all you need to do is select the keyboard option and it will allow you to free type from your keyboard straight to your Android TV. So we can go on over and open the app directly from our phone. How incredibly easy Cetus Play has made it for everyone to not only have the best remote control app for a streaming device, but they've also gone one further by making it the easiest place to download different apps for said device. As you can see, the app works brilliantly. We've got a link transfer where you can transfer links to the device. So for instance, if I type in leetvofficial.com, It'll transfer to the device so you can see the web view from your phone to the Android box. And of course, you've got the remote that you can control and go back home. Another feature built into the app is the Clean Master, which will clean up the cache and stuff on the device. And it'll scan for temporary files and junk that you can remove to make it a little bit faster. You can screen capture straight from your phone which will take a screenshot of what is happening at that point, which is very, very useful being able to screen capture the TV from your phone and keep the quality of the image. Now you can also search to cast. So you can search for movies or TV shows. So if you go on and search for Rampage, there's tons of different things on there. But if you find the right file, you can play and cast it straight to the TV, nice and simple by using direct link. Now you can also go straight into YouTube. You can watch live channels from the app and you've got a tutorials and a feedback section. You can also go into the settings and play about with it to customize it how you want. But in my opinion, I think this app is a game changer. It's incredible. It makes things super easy for you and it gives you an app that's pretty much all in one for Android APKs, remote control and casting directly at your fingertips. So if you've got a Fire Stick or an Android TV, I would highly recommend checking this app out. It's great. I'll leave all the links below, but let's show you how to install it. So on your Android TV device, head on over to the Play Store and search for Cetus Play. And on the receiver side, which is going to be your streaming device, you're going to download the TV remote server receiver. Once you've got that open it and you can move on to the phone okay so on your phone head on over to the google play store or if you're on ios on the apple store and search for cetus play and on this device you're going to download the fire tv universal remote for android tv and fire stick i think it's called the same on ios but you'll see it there with the same logo and i'll leave the link for the fire stick to download it in the downloader option on fire stick but you should be able to get it from the app store anyway once you've got it and you've opened the server side app on your streaming device simply open Cetus Play on your phone and it'll give you a list of all the devices you can connect to so make sure that app is open in the background and it will simply pick up the Cetus app and you can connect to it and you are then good to go so let me know what you think of Cetus Play I think it's an incredible app and it's great it's something new it's been around a while but they messaged me and asked me to do a video on it and I thought you know what I haven't done it let's do it let me know what you think of this app if there's anything you'd like to see added to it and there is another addition which is great it's part of the casting side of the app that they've got running separate to this i'm going to review that next and that's going to be coming up very soon i've got a review of my new chair it's going to be hard to do you can sit on it you can spin on it it works it's a chair but no it's a great product and i'm going to be reviewing that and i've also got some wicked tech stuff coming up for review on the channel so if you're new around here consider subscribing i want to get to 25k as soon as possible so i need you guys to help me out with that of course smash the thumbs up button and if you're still watching at this point let me know in the comment section by using the hashtag I'm still here. I'm always interested to see how many of you guys actually watch the whole video. Between me and you, I think that's how videos rank on YouTube. It's all about the amount of time you guys are watching the video anyway it's the festive season so loads of great content coming up if you want to get your hands on an android tv box it's a xiaomi me tv box to be exact i've got a giveaway happening on twitter right now there's four steps that you need to do you need to follow my twitter you need to retweet a post you need to tag three friends and you need to subscribe to this channel so i'll stick my twitter handle and the link to the post down below go on over to twitter share it round and go and get yourself an android tv box before Christmas on me. That is all for this one. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.